I'm the warmest robot, and this is Robot Wars. Instead of robots fighting each other, it's people that think they're smart. And today I'm joined with Gabriel. Good day. Hey, um, what what happened in the kitchen? That we we'll talk about that later. There is a hole in the floor. It's fine. It's not. There's there's something in there. It's 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 under control. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Right now, we're going to deal with Lindsay. <laughs> yes. So, uh, today we're going to cover two videos. This is Dear Thinkers, and then we've got another one on NI, I think. Yes. Right. So, what do you think about Lindsay, considering you two are the same alignment as INTJs? Yes. Um, for those of you that don't know, we have a system. Yeah. And uh, me and her are the same type, and also the same subtype. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, as a result, we've got a similar set of thought processes. I said s alignment instead of subtype. Because I'm a fucking idiot that doesn't seem, even seem to know my own system. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I watch this video because I, I don't dislike her. She seems like a relatively nice person. Um, but I, uh, like, if she's doing what she's what she says that she's doing, yeah, then she's gonna like have an awful experience. Yeah, cause yeah. I, I know you thought about similar kinds of philosophies, at least things within a similar a similar field. Yeah. And it seems that you've taken the complete opposite route. Yeah, like uh, if you view life as a series of experiments, then we're doing the opposite experiment. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess it'd be interesting to kind of uh, kind of do a critique on this, because it's... Lindsay was pretty cool, like uh, yeah, a it's year not, ago. It's not like a... Uh... It's not like a C.S. Joseph. No, because yeah. he's fucked. Because he's, <laughs> he's like so funny and silly. He's yeah. never gonna actually change. But no, like maybe she. I, I don't know. I guess we'll. I guess we'll see. Yeah, like um, this is. I guess like uh, this is more of a criticism, more out of respect. I mean, I'm not. I'm gonna say respect, <laughs> but it is like uh, not as harsh. There you go. Yeah, okay. Because um, I, I know people in our audience do actually like Lindsay. Yeah. So yeah. this is going to be uh, a good example of what this channel's about. Fuck rapport. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Right. Hey, internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay or Lijo. And my video for you today is for the thinkers out there is the process of allowing yourself to feel the emotions and why it really is so important. Uh, I know this is a little bit in my peacock range of information, but very important to me, especially through this past year, all the same. So we're gonna get right into it. If you'd like to talk to me about this subject or anything related to the cognitive functions, your brain, your journey, you can book a video session with me below. Okay, while she's talking about the video session stuff. Yeah. So allowing yourself to feel feelings. Well, if you're actively suppressing it, that's not a good idea. Stop it. Yeah, that's You're that's being dumb. stupid. Even if you're an INTP. And it's... I understand your inclination, because I've done it. Yeah. I did it for years. Uh, Bad move. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, but, like, hardly anybody is. Yeah. Anyway, it's just kind of his pointless advice. Yeah. I'm snug. So, here we go. So, just to start off, there is nothing more these days that will piss me off than some alleged thinker, dominant saying how much emotions are the dumbest thing and you know all emotions are stupid and emotional people are and like okay you're a child either that or <laughs> you know what a <laughs> false paradigm is <laughs> yeah it's like you're either agreeing with Lindsay on this or you're a child yeah that's stupid stupid <laughs> <laughs> anyway um also, people hardly ever say that. Wait, no. People usually say that people use emotions when they shouldn't, and then they make bad decisions. Oh, wait, no, 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 Because no. have you been around a normal person? Uh, yeah. All right, at least once. I'm pretty... I, I've never heard anyone say that. I think the mo people, what most people say is that I don't like emotional people. Yes. I don't and like drama. I don't like emotional people. I mean, I hate that stuff, and I bet they're the people that cause it. But <laughs> <laughs> usually, there's a correlation between those. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never heard anyone else, essentially besides you, give that kind of critique. Well, if you ask them as to like why it's a problem, yeah, the, 
that's why it's a problem. And, and when people like people are making emotional decisions, it's because it causes problems because it's, yeah. it's not the right tool for that. Yeah, and some emotions are just stupid. Yeah, because they're a result of systems, and systems are not inherently correct. Exactly. It's like it's not that all mo- emotions are stupid. That would be a bit foolish. But like some of them will be. Well, there is as wise as the system is that they're that they re- that they relate to. Yeah. So there's so much room for like in- error. Yeah. There's going to be more dumb emotions than good ones. Yeah. As there's more dumb ideas than good ideas. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And this is true for both TI and FI users. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 You're lying. So you're either lying because you don't think it's cool to have emotions or you're a child. And the reason I say that is- The false paradigm got worse than what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just you're agreeing with Lindsay. It's either you are a liar <laughs> or you're a child. Should have uh, thought about that a little more, Lindsay. Yeah, that was... Mm. It's because as a savior thinker, as a dominant thinker in your top two slot positions, it is more likely for you to meet your downfall by having not addressed emotions, not having a healthy relationship with your emotions or the emotions of others. It is more likely for that to kick your butt than that of the feelers and the emotional people out there. They're going to be fine when the emotions hit them. It's you. You're Bullshit. That's a load of shit. <laughs> How many feelers do we know that have like ruined their lives because of they are not uh, properly engaging with their feelings? Because I can think of at least three. I, I'm thinking of like three major people that have properly destroyed their lives. Yeah. And then I'm thinking other people that we know of. I, I can think of four. There's yeah. a couple other people. I know, wait, I could, I've, I've thought of more now. Yeah, it's, it's I've, like I've seven, thought of more. It's like seven now. And uh, they're all feelers, and they've all destroyed their lives because they are... Uh, and I, I don't mean in a trivial way. I mean, like... Like in a hardcore way. Like, permanent, severe, like... Uh, like, you're not going to bounce back from this one <laughs> yeah. kind of situation. Yeah. Because they, they were not... They didn't address um, how they felt about generally exes. Yeah. Or so, sometimes dead parents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sometimes that. So, uh, yeah, they're not going to be necessarily fine because just because you have something in the top position doesn't mean you're going to use it appropriately, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's the same as saying like, uh, INTPs will know what to do if they have to figure stuff out that's going to cause them problems. It's like, mm, no, it's like, no, no, cause we're not magical thinking people. <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's a bunch of like, uh, smart feelers. That yeah. have just done proper research, and there would be some. There are smarter feelers out there than there are smart INTPs in some cases. Yeah, like I, I, I'm not generalizing the whole group. What I mean to say is, because past me can't speak, <laughs> is that there are some like feeler feeler doms that are way smarter than some INTPs. Yeah, because uh, because frequency doesn't inherently equal proficiency. No. Yeah. There can be a tendency, but that's that's a can be, not a guarantee. Yeah. Anyway. You're the one who is not going to be fine unless you learn to have a better relationship with them. So now that I've thrown a little shade on some other thinkers, I'm going to throw some shade on myself because what I was doing wrong as it related to emotions for a very long time. I am sorry to stop here, but I did just remember something that she said that kind of was not on that tangent. Yeah. Okay, so she was saying that if you have thinking in a top position, what is going to like mess you up the most is like your feelings and other people's feelings. I don't think that's true. Okay. I don't think that that will be the bane of your existence necessarily because it is in the bottom position. I think that is like a false paradigm. Oh yeah, yeah. Like like so. what we were demonstrating with like other feelers kind of like messing up their entire lives in like a fundamental and crucial way. Yeah. Um it doesn't the opposite isn't true. It's like thinkers are not necessarily going to mess up their lives because of their feelings. Yeah, it's a false paradigm. Yeah. It just, we didn't address the other side of that, so I figured uh, just chuck it in there because we kind of got onto the tangent of like these, these people that have messed up their lives. Yeah. Was I was trying to use my T to solve F. You know, many of you know that I had this kind of sense of wonder towards extroverted feeling because I, I just was... Okay, um... 
This this is actually the reason that I decided to respond to this video. Yeah, because this was you that kind of wanted to do this one. Yeah, because uh, I actually did exactly the opposite thing and decided to resolve F through TE. Yeah. And I'm not saying that's good advice for everybody, but it definitely was good advice for me. Because yeah. I was like, I was miserable to the point of suicide. Yeah. And then I decided to figure out how my emotions were functioning on a technical sense. Yeah. And then make adjustments in line with reality. And that was very heavily a TE and NI process. Yeah. Uh, as you would imagine it would be, if you, you were trying to figure out how your feelings are correlating with reality, it would probably be a TE process. Yeah. Because FI feelings don't do that. Well. Inherently. They can't do that if it's your third function. Like, yeah. I, I've seen people that have got high FI and then they kind of assign intentions to external things and they act as if that's true. Yeah. Um, and that seems to work for them. You, you just can't do it effectively if it's in your third position. No, because you're not doing it as frequently. So, yeah, so you was, just do not have those resources to spend. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, yeah, it would just be a bad idea. Yeah. I, I don't know why Lindsay likes FE. Oh, I, I don't know why. I, uh, maybe she thinks it's uh, getting along with people. Okay, so maybe she's like, just kind of categorize that in a very particular fashion. Well, maybe she's seen some like, like ENFJs or INFJs. Yeah. And like, oh, they're good at getting along with people, but she doesn't like maybe understand what, what the whole system is. Because it's like, like maybe if you look onto it, you're like, that's like having a power. If you're an INTJ <laughs> and you and you kind of look into it, like, that's really impressive. I wish I could do that. Yeah. But then, the, the, they're doing it with a completely different set of tools, so yeah. you can't. Re it's like, a, it's not. You don't just get a bonus. Yeah. For having that function, there's the other cons. Yeah. To having that, like, there's a lot of cons to it as well. Yeah. Like uh, losing track of your your feelings and ethics. Like well, that's, that that seems pretty severe. Yeah. Like especially if um your TI is in the bottom position. Yeah. So, like, there's, there's pros and cons to every type. Yeah. And, and anyway, it's just like, I understand how it could happen, but it, it, it does seem like it's a, it's a lack of playing out the patterns effectively. Yeah. Wait, well, you actually are good when you're being social. It's well, not as though your specific subtype can't be good socially. Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm good at socialing because I just learned a bunch of human heuristics yeah. in a very conceptual way. <laughs> and so you're just using those yeah so and Lindsay if you want to get good at socializing this would be more up your alley yeah because because she could do that because it's the same setup yeah not necessarily the same emotional setup but um yeah same same kind of potential yeah put in situations in which I didn't know how to interact in an FE type way so what I did was try to use my TE to solve FE and, you know, gain tools, gain things to put in my toolbox, right? I have successfully done that. And I am... I don't know what she means. Well, like, she's trying to resolve the, the social paradigm with TU. Okay. And I've just successfully done that. So if you are an INTJ, especially if you've got solid TU, yeah. then you just can do that. If you maybe read some books on evolution so you, tell you, so you can figure out the human heuristics, because mm. that's what I did. Yeah. And as it was effective for me. And that wouldn't work for like an FE user. No. Um I think if you're like uh like an FE user, you would have to like um develop like kind of rules around uh, how people are functioning. And it really just depends on what the other functions are as well. Yeah. Like But that's probably not like a huge issue that you're having anyway. If you're like a have FE in, in the in the primary position. Yeah. Yeah, or even in the, like just the dominant position. In yeah. Yeah. T's in their toolboxes, let me tell you and solve feeling versus using my own feeling to be able to relate with feeling. So this is what we're going to do with all of our savior functions. You know, if you have N, you're going to try to solve S by using more N. If you have T, you're going to try to sol solve S. You can, you can do that. You, you can, can just do that. <laughs> I have done this. I got really good at sword fighting, which is a which seems, yeah. which seems like it should be a heavy like SE endeavor, but it can also be a heavy NI endeavor because there's patterns in fighting. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You gotta be careful because I think what's gonna happen is is you're gonna get typed as now an SE dom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. It's like ah, so he's just like he just did good at sword fighting, I guess. Yeah. He's probably just not even aware of it. 
<laughs> he's focusing on these patterns and stuff, trying to show us how good he is with the patterns. But actually, he just he doesn't even know how good he is with Essie. <laughs> That's why he's an uh, an E uh, an ESFP. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's going to be new, your, new, your new type. Uh, for those of you that, that don't know that method of typing, it's called mind reading. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> I, Talking to you, Dave. Yeah, that's a, like that's. I'm co-opting the pattern that Dave Superpowers was fucking using in one of his videos. That's yeah. the joke. Yeah. In case I had to explain it, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just actually mind reading Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, we will uh, cover him in the future. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, we're going after him definitely. Yeah. I know some people have requested it. Yeah, they have. Yeah. So don't worry, we got you back. <laughs> F by using more T. While you'll think that will work for a little bit, because it's your savior function, it's whispering sweet nothings in your ear, uh, you'll get to a, a point when you realize this still isn't working like it should. Like, this, these pieces still aren't- How should it work? I mean, I guess I didn't have them with me, so I am the counter example. Yeah. yeah. ...aren't fitting together correctly, and that's because you're using the wrong tool to solve the wrong function by addressing your own emotions by addressing your the emotions of others by using your feeling function no no this that system doesn't fucking work okay because <laughs> that means like entps have to solve like physical things with their si and that does that will be terrible for them because they can what they like, do it like once or twice a bloody day <laughs> if they're doing that they're gonna have a really terrible time how the bloody hell are they gonna go and move <laughs> how are they gonna move properly yeah, yeah. um it's just, just like thinking that you have to, like, it's, it's treating the functions as, as what they are representing. Yeah, it's like you counter like it's like the thing that you're trying to do with the specific function correlating to the thing. Yeah. Rather than, like, min maxing and specking into your like, uh, like your dominant functions. Yeah, it's it's like saying that you have to get information with S. Yeah. And it's like, well, you can get it with fucking TE. Yeah. Or like, NE. Yeah. In my case. Yeah. Um, we were both the best sword fighters in our group. Yeah. And both of us have S in a, like, not dominant position. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you don't have to do that, just just in case. You don't have to, no. No, no, no. I mean, if, I think if I did it with SI, it would be terrible, because it's really inaccurate and constantly flows and changes. Yeah. Unlike patterns for me. Yeah. So I, I would just be a stupid fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is where the freedom actually happens. So let's talk a little bit about how to do that. So number one is awareness. You want to become aware of the emotion you're experiencing in yourself or that someone else is experiencing. Uh, awareness. So how do you do that bit? Like okay. yourself? Yeah. But other people. With yourself. You probably can do that. That's if, probably good advice, actually. Unless you're stressed and you're an INTJ, then you probably can't do that. Yeah. But <laughs> so don't force yourself, actually. Like, a uh, quick warning. If you are in a stressed situation and your third function does turn off and you are aware of it, but you didn't kind of need it, don't try and access it. That's not a smart plan. You're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Um, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm telling you this, because I know, and I know this is a bad idea. Yeah. Um... What what she's telling you to do mm. is just invent feelings for other people, and you're not gonna do it as well as the people that are that have got a higher F, because you're gonna do it in a slow and archetypal way. Yeah, and they're gonna get pissed off with you because you didn't understand them properly because you're inventing <laughs> what they're feeling. I guess it instead be, of intellectually it's, dishonest, it's emotionally dishonest. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is equally as irritating when feelers like pretend they understand what you're saying yeah. and then they say a stupid version back to you <laughs> and then they act as if they've understood yeah that's what you that, that would piss that would piss me off that would piss me off as well <laughs> so that's what you're gonna be doing to them yeah so if you want to <laughs> lose friends fast <laughs> if you want to like have not thinking not feel a friend i guess no piss me off no, yeah, I mean, it, it's like if you want to lose friends fast, start strawmanning their feelings. Yeah, uh, that that would really, yeah, uh, that would really. Yeah, you know what? I take that back. It yeah. would just like piss off people. Yeah, so that know you're doing it. You know, like I wouldn't wouldn't follow this advice so far. Yeah, the the knowing your own feeling thing that's probably a good idea unless you're stressed. Then just wait till you calm down. 
Just yeah. when you calm down, then try and engage in your like your third function. Yeah, and try to actually figure it out if you have FI. Yeah, like you, you might have invented feelings when you were a kid, and they don't make any fucking sense because your worldview was fucked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. So try to figure out the reasons behind why you constructed the feeling. Yeah. This is the first measurement, right? So even if it's like a little tinge of something, like if you're a savior T and you have FI and you're feeling like, I think that kind of made me uncomfortable, right? Or like, I kind of think I didn't like that. Our default brain is going to be like, ah, don't worry. Just roll past it. Let's keep going, whatever. Doesn't matter. So what you're going to have to do is say to yourself, even if I can't address this now, I'm going to kind of remember what this was and try to peel it back a little bit later. Or maybe... Okay, that, that is good advice. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's good job. genuinely good advice, yeah. Good job, Lindsay. <laughs> discuss it at a further point, or maybe discuss it right now, depending on what's appropriate. And maybe you're a savior TI or a TE for that matter, and you see someone else who you're like, what, what was that? And instead of just blowing past it, be like, was that something that they were feeling with? Was that some kind of emotional conflict? Taking a moment to say, say wait, what, what, what were they experiencing there that didn't relate to the logic realm of things? And just, again... Okay, T is not logic. Yeah, no, it's not. Like, just because you have a high T doesn't mean you know how to do logic properly. Look at Chris Chan, actually, because he is an INTP. Yeah. So he has Or T Dave Sudafel. <laughs> <laughs> Those two people equal playing field. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a quick note on if you have like save your TI and like something might feel off. Yeah, that doesn't mean you should be talking about this. You, I actually have experience of this. So you're going to fuck up if you start trying to explain a feeling to someone. If you have save your TI, you're going to mess it up. Okay. It's going to be too archetypal. It's going to mean too much shit. You're not going to really be able to explain it. it okay, in my position, because it's like the bottom yeah, thing. Yeah. You're not going to be able to explain it properly. You're going to sound like an idiot. You're going to make the situation worse. No, no, no. Don't do that. What you do instead is you think about what parts of your system the feeling relates to. And then try and figure that out instead. Yeah, because uh, feelings are the result of systems. Yeah. Yeah. And especially with FE. Yeah, it's like a direct, I mean, I would say a direct result, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if you understand, like, the the TI components behind your feeling, if you're like an INTP, or just someone with a TI in a dominant position. Yeah. Then maybe only talk about it if it is required, or you can just fix it up yourself. Well, they're like, probably not going to have much good advice. No, because it's your own internal, like category set up and rules for how things work or how you work yeah it's like they probably just won't know no it's like i don't know i can't compete with them like when i talk to you i yeah. just can't compete with the level of categories that you can produce mm. there's just too many yeah right so i like i couldn't try to figure it out in the same way that you could no and obviously because we're using different systems it's even a further degree removed yeah so yeah, this, that's really bad advice, especially for my fucking group. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, well, it's just bad advice in general, I think. Yeah. Like, especially if you're an INTJ. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Becoming aware of it. So first was awareness. And next is permission. Mentally give yourself or the other person permission to experience the emotion either now or later. Now, you're not going to go to the other person and be like, hey, you're allowed to feel that way. That would be... Because <laughs> <laughs> that does sound quite silly. That would be sillier. Um, I guess if that means don't repress feelings that are bad. Yeah. Um, no, don't, don't like, like... Suppress it. Yeah, don't don't suppress it permanently. Like, I, I, like, like it could be in a situation where you don't want to, like, yell at your boss or something <laughs> and in that situation yeah sure like repress that anger yeah but then when you get home maybe you figure out if you can do something to better like better the situation and then therefore resolve your feeling yeah so but yeah I, i'll she's right yeah yeah kind of strange right but in your head to tell your own cognitive functions that they are allowed tell yourself that right 
as it relates to them. Tell yourself, hey, I am allowed to feel sad about this, even though it is not a rational thing to be sad about. And sure. That's not always true. So, FI in my system yeah. is responsible for assigning feelings to things. Those feelings don't have to make sense. No. But if they don't, you're just going to be doing a feeling <laughs> for no reason. And if That's this, not good. Well, it could be neutral, let's say, if it was a silly thing. Right. So, like, I don't know. You feel really good about eating, like, fish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I'll eat fish more. But, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> for example, I had this leather jacket and yeah. I like it. Um, it's not like a logic, it's not particularly logically sound to like the jacket. It's mm. not very, it's not a very good jacket. I just like it. All right. Um, but that's fine. Yeah. But, not going to hurt you. Yeah. But the problem comes up when you start to give yourself permission to feel bad because you're just telling yourself <laughs> to feel bad and then you will because you've decided to. And then <laughs> so you're like, I will decide to do this feeling. Yeah. And then you'll give the reason. The reason is... For no reason, so therefore you just do it until you stop. And it'll just be at the background of your consciousness. That's it's, horrible. <laughs> that was that, really bad. It's really bad advice. That sounds like it will spiral fast. It could, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you have TI, you don't need to give yourself permission to feel a thing. In fact, actually, it's just not a valid idea in the first place. <laughs> you don't need to go one way or the other. That's a false paradigm. Have you uh, d ever done something like uh, decided a f to feel about a thing was bad? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> so I, I guess I guess it would be like it's like this system is for fe like feels like bad or something because you can use fe feelings as though it is like rules and it is just stupid. It just messes you up. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> and yeah. if you have done it, this is the current the current warning. Yeah. Fix it up. <laughs> So um, what would, you, what would you suggest doing instead? Okay, so what I would probably suggest doing is... Because with TI, it's just rules. And your feelings are essentially not rules. They just mean too many things. They could even mean contradictive things. Yeah. Um, In my case, because my feelings are quite archetypal, they will definitely mean contradictive things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, good. How many possible things could I think are good? Do I mean all of them at once? No. <laughs> no, I don't. That, that's why it would come off as a bad rule. Because it would mean many contradictive actions. Yes. Yeah. So what I would probably suggest is that um, make your rules kind of like... Now, this mainly applies if you have solid TI. But they should be quite precise. If you have solid TI, you'll probably know what I'm talking about, actually, because your rules will already be relatively precise. Yeah. Okay, so... You don't actually need to give yourself permission to feel anything if you have TI. It's, but you don't need to suppress it either. It's more like that either one of those options is false. So the feeling is the emergent property of having TI? Yeah, it yeah. is the emergent property of your rules. Yeah. So if you treat it like that, you'll know if your rules feel good or bad. And that sounds archetypal because I'm an INTP. <laughs> yeah. But if you have a higher FE, it will come across in a more nuanced fashion. It's a, basically, it's a way to tell what your systems are doing. It's not, you don't need permission to do that. Your systems will do it automatically. Yeah. Providing you don't make dumb rules about it. <laughs> it's like it works better when you don't have rules around these things. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's also probably good to note that your feelings are a result of how you the how you think they will, your systems will play out yes yeah so it's not that it's objective never think of your feelings as objective just no, don't they, do that they're just, they're <laughs> bad just, move yeah they're just not no it's just how yeah. they feel in relation to the rest of your systems yeah so something might feel good and to like an FE user but it might have terrible results for yourself and maybe others yeah and it's the same. It's the same with FI because yeah. it's based on your understanding of the situation. Mm. So you invent a feeling for yourself with yeah. FI, and then you're going to act from that feeling, regardless of if you want to. So yeah. if if it's something, and and it could be something like feel good about chaos, 
and you just you just be so chaotic. And I'm not. <laughs> but I've, I haven't done that. Right? <laughs> but well, it just isn't as, that like just as a, as a theoretical? That would be terrible. It's yeah, like a really just, bad decision. Yeah, and you could feel good about it, and you would just be the worst. Yeah. So anyway, you can do the same with Ti. Your rules, you will act from regardless. So you are always acting from your rules if you have Ti. Yeah. So. Basically, if you want to fix yourself up, focus on your rules. If you got TI, yeah. Um, if you have soft TI, I it could be a little bit different because um, your emotions will be more precise. But I guess you have to be still adjusting the associated rules around certain topics. They they seem to cluster around specific emotions. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I I I guess for a soft TI user, it would be like figuring out what is what is an appropriate emotion for the situation and then just kind of clustering rules around it yeah that would probably be a better better option yeah um yeah i can't give the same kind of advice for that group just because i am not yeah because i'm not i'm not gonna pretend to give advice to a group that i'm not unlike someone (laughs) (laughs) anyway let's continue a lot of times the way that we experience emotion is tied back to what we think or what we believe but the thing is is like you don't have to dive all the way down. Someone is allowed to just be sad, mad, angry, insert other emotions. You're allowed to just- Yeah, they don't have to, they yeah, should. They should. Uh, same with TI as well. You should fix up your processes. <laughs> fix your rules up if you fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have double to, you, down. You have to be responsible. Yeah. Well, okay, you don't have to be <laughs> responsible. You can just not do that. There is a bit of a culture around that these days. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can always just be a worse person, you know? Don't let us, don't let us stop you. Yeah. You'll, you'll be the people we cover. <laughs> you, what, you want to, like, get our channel to stop? <laughs> <laughs> that is the, the channel model, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you want us to stop teasing people, be a better person. <laughs> Or become fodder. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Just be sad, man, angry, whatever, and experience that as a singular entity without having to always do the trace work of like, what could this possibly... You're allowed to just have the emotion. And that is number three overall, which is there are no wrong emotions. There aren't any... There's No, there is. That's just... A, that's just... Fuck that. Hard counter murdering people. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> Stupid idea. The feeling of violence at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> Especially as an FI user, because you can just invent You could them. just make that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can do that. I have done it as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately felt intensely incongruent. <laughs> but I know I can do it, because I have done it. Yeah. Um, I could invent a system that, like, does just tend towards violence. Oh, yeah. At all costs. Yeah, this is just... Um, really, if really... you see person, punch them. <laughs> <laughs> Great rule. Great for just being the worst. Yeah. Anyway, silly rule. A uh, silly idea. There's obviously it's, it's terrible. It's so obviously untrue because just as a hypothetical, imagine if I bought a cake. Yeah. And then I thought you ate the cake. Yeah. Yeah, and I got angry at you as a result. Right. But then I learned that I ate the cake. How did you? I forgot. <laughs> Are you like Patrick from Spongebob? <laughs> yes. Anyway, so in that instance, my emotion would be clearly a stupid reaction. Yeah. To something that I had done. Yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah. So then obviously you should change this. Yeah. Not just, just... stay pissed off at me because <laughs> I ate the goddamn cake. <laughs> yeah, that would be clearly unreasonable. Yeah. And, um, okay. As... A note of being, un- like, I have been unreasonable using TI at one point. I think when I was a kid, I, I'm not sure when I made this. I'm not sure if it was when I was a kid, but I had a system where I would feel upset about a thing that I just, ha- that, like, I can't resolve it because it's in the past. Yeah. Because I was only feeling okay about f- mistakes that I've made if I could fix them, not if I could prevent them. Yeah, okay. So yeah. I was just upset for, like, days. Yeah. For basically no reason. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. So, stupid advice. Yeah. yeah. Don't just feel it. Do something. <laughs> There's no wrong emotions. Now, there are inappropriate or wrong responses to emotions, but oftentimes that's actually coming from 
the savior thinkers who haven't been agile in their use of emotions, right? Experiencing your emotions, processing your emotions, processing the emotions of others is a necessity. Do you want to alter necessities? Sleeping, eating, but guess what? If you don't pay attention to your diet and your eating habits over a long period of time, right? You're going to eventually reap the repercussions of not having dealt and managed in a balanced way those eating habits, right? So why not look at your emotions the same way and give yourself permission, um, have the awareness towards them, and then also the mindset that this isn't wrong. I can have this human experience of going through these, these emotions and going through them with other people as well. And the beautiful part is, is especially for me as someone who is FI, my real breakthrough with FE didn't come from me studying FE. It didn't come from me getting all the right tools in my toolbox, right? Even though you guys have heard me talk about that a lot. And those things are useful, but what the real breakthrough was for me was allowing myself to feel my own emotions, was allowing myself to go to some of the darkest places I've ever gone. You don't have like a, you don't have an option not to. No. You just, you just have to feel your own emotion. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, I, I was, first off, she's kind of really sticking with the false paradigm stuff. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, it's like, you know, feeling, you know, your your emotions and like feeling that they are, you can just like have these mm. is kind of like eating, sleeping. Yeah, it's, no. not, it's not the same system. No. Because you're not meant to make constant adjustments to your sleep. That's stupid. <laughs> you are meant to make con constant I adjustments. I feel really attacked <laughs> at the moment. You are. Um. <laughs> you are meant to make constant adjustments to your uh t to your thought processes and therefore your feelings yeah or your feelings and therefore, therefore your, your thought, thought processes, processes if you have fi yeah yeah um also processing other people's feelings like in that's just lying <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just lying it's like how, at this point uh, you're just just kind of like assuming their intentions at that stage yeah and even if you have fe that does not mean you know their feelings no don't think that. <laughs> no. On in my life this past year and actually feel the extreme darkness of what that was and and process it and not try to throw it away and not try to shove it somewhere else and just sit in that place. And it made me become so much less fearful of other people's emotions because I was just like, yeah, it's real. I get it. I've been there. Like. I, you don't tell me. Like I get it. And that really sucks. And not and that feeling of not having to want to solve the emotion with my T has been one of the most freeing experiences. But then you're just gonna do it unconsciously. You didn't do the same thing. And I know that you can suppress your emotions because I know that I've done that. Yeah. Anyway. This kind of seems like a hashtag being relatable over being stable. Mm. Like. Like, she was talking about sitting in, like, this dark place with these dark emotions. I, from what I understand about how FI users work, that is not healthy. Oh, no. If you That just, seems like a you, death sentence. If you decide to make a uh, a dark emotion, let's yeah. say, you're just going to feel unpleasant. And, Forever. And, until and, you and, fix until it. Until you decide that it's, like, an invalid emotion for you to feel. But mm. if you've decided that... Emotions can't be wrong. That's another emotion that you've decided, and therefore you cannot change from that point onwards. Probably get rid of that one then first, and yeah, then that, move that on one. to the other ones. Yeah, like that. That one is just like a. It's just like I can't change now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the first one. <laughs> Let's move on to ni. Yeah. What is an ni? Mm. Do you know? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, so here we have how to better an eye. Would you like to have a better an eye? Yes. That's, hmm. <laughs> I take that back because if I had both, I think it would cause a problem. So, um, in case you're wondering why I think we have four instead of eight, yeah, is because uh, the functions deal with that kind of information and therefore if you had both of them they would interact with each other in ways that were just not good well, yeah so you can make patterns right yeah you're very responsible of that yes 
and I perceive patterns in the environment. If I could do both... If, if I were to perceive patterns in the environment, I wouldn't know what's real. Yeah, because... I, I would be, just be insane. Yeah, would it be your patterns that were real or the patterns you saw in the environment? But they would all blend together because it would be done with the same thing. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's a bit of a introduction to why the system is set up the way it is. Yeah. If you want to actually learn the system, go to Russian Typology. Yeah, we have a link to it on the uh, Warmest Robot. So yeah. It is featured there. So anyway... Yeah, anyway. Do you want to have a better NI? Because I probably can't have that. Um, I, yeah. I mean, oh yeah. I would want a better thing. Right. Yeah. Let's see what we got. What's an NI? Hey, internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay or Lijo. And today I'm going to be speaking with you on how to get better at NI. Uh, maybe you have NI, introverted intuition, in your function stack, or perhaps you don't have it in your function stack and you just want to learn a little bit more about how you can implement, think about uh, bringing this function into your life, improving it some, so. Yeah, so if I did that, I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a bad thing to do. Yeah, it would be uh, like a critical hit for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're going to get started. If you'd like to talk to me about this subject, anything with the cognitive functions, your brain's journey, uh, you can book a video session with me below. So let's go. So today we're just going to be looking at one facet of NI and how you can kind of use that to improve NI in your life, uh, no matter what cognitive functions you have. Now for myself, you know, mm. I have- It doesn't matter what you got. Don't worry, Lindsay's got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This NI function, and when I was originally typed as being an INTJ with NI first, I really didn't know, I really didn't understand what NI was. And, you know, I'm hearing, okay, this is your first function or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, but like, what, what am I doing that is actually, and then- The reason that he's wondering that is because Dave's superpowers is a moron. And, and hasn't defined it properly. And he refuses to define things in a, in a coherent manner. I, I wanted to have a bit for this episode where we would uh, have his definition. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't find a good one. Because he doesn't define anything properly. No, he's just saying kind of things that it might do. Yeah, he just talks about maybe the emergent properties. Yeah. But then also there could be a bunch of other shit. So. <laughs> and then things that maybe like uh, like... What you might be tending towards doing emergent properties. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just saying the same thing, but longer. But yeah, so uh, maybe she'll explain it though. Yeah, and one. Yeah, well, let's let's find out. Yeah, start to peel back the layers, and you realize that in fact, it's what you're doing all the time. And then, a few years later, you realize how terrifying it is that your own consciousness is steps behind what your NI is doing. <laughs> Whoa. But that doesn't have to be true. Okay, so let's give some context here because there is this thing in superpowers of system mm. and I just couldn't fathom it when, when, when I was first introduced to it. Yeah. Is that you're just not aware of your first function. Oh, that's just stupid. I have I, never not been aware that I am following a lot of really rigid rules. <laughs> I have always been aware that I am like creating patterns out of everything yeah like i've always known that it's not a mystery no no and as for it being behind your awareness yeah you don't have to do that is that a thing you can do though yeah right because you can okay so i can kind of shift my awareness into a different function okay like se and then i will be less aware of my patterns but oh. you can just shift it to your ni and then be aware of them as they're happening oh okay that process yeah i wouldn't do that because it, for me it would be just shifting my awareness into archetypal feelings. Yeah. Which I just couldn't use the function properly or it'd be shifting it into like a, a hazy SI world that I got. So I just kind of stick with the first two. <laughs> yeah. So I generally stick with a TE and NI. Because those then, are your main two. And then, and then FI when I'm like, oh no, I've made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> for you, you do it when you made a mistake. Um, I do look at my feelings. Uh contrary to what maybe i've said in the past <laughs> i don't know if past me did say that but if he did he's a fucking idiot <laughs> i do look at my feelings from time to time 
got five a day. Mm-hmm. I check out what those five are, you know, sleep a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously if they're messed up, I'll fix something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just going to go like, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter if, uh, you know, I feel horrific or terrible. <laughs> 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 well, for me, it is like that. It's like, it's not just like a slight bad. If I make a mistake, it's like the worst thing on the planet. Yeah. Um, When when the function is, the, is your lowest, it is the most archetypal that you have. But also the broadest net. Yeah. So if it's feelings... You're like, either all good or all bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for people that have a high F, that's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. It's like intense emotions that are quite often stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a low F? Yeah. You said high F. Oh, no. Okay. I meant like... This uh, is See, this is why INTJs... <laughs> This is how you know he's ING. He's got SC last, can't fucking speak properly. He doesn't know what he's bloody saying. <laughs> um, like, if you're curious what it's like to be a, a thinker, if you're a feeler, then that's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's continue. All of the time. So let that sink in. Whatever your first function is, it's running your show. You don't even know it. That being said, once I began to peel back the layers and see really how NI was just seeping out of my being in every part of my life, I really began to understand how I could communicate it better to other people. So NI is obsessed. That's good, because now she knows how to communicate it to us. Yeah, let's let's see what it does. Right, so she's got a couple of minutes here. Yeah. With running the simulation of possible future scenarios so that it can narrow down and pick the best possible one. Okay, and she's it- wrong. How? So, the whole simulations thing is a mix of TE and NI. So, it's both. Okay. Yeah. So, wrong. But also... Technically wrong, but there is NI in there. Yeah. Yeah. But also, you don't have to narrow down on a particular thing. You don't have to do that. You can play out a bunch of different patterns. Yeah. Yeah. And then just, like, be like, this one is the one I want to do. And this will have the other patterns running in case you change your mind. You, you can do that as well. Why not? Just limit your options. Well, it is technically easier to do that. I was kind of joking. From like an intellectual standpoint, you're, you, you're, you are using less resources. Yeah. But it is less accurate. So That's kind of why I was joking. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like this would tend towards like potentially ruling out scenarios that could actually be a good thing. Yeah. Or, or alternatively, ruling in scenarios when they're not the best thing. Yes. Yeah. Because you would have ruled out the other one, so you've ruled in the one that might not be the best. Yeah, so it uh, might tend towards a mentality of, like, I would do this, and I've thought of how to do it, therefore I will do this. Yeah. As opposed to thinking about it more, and then getting, a like, a broader comprehension of the situation, so you might actually get what you actually want. Okay, that actually seems like good advice. Yeah. If you have NI. Um, and, and I can't you. do this. And, and TE you know, in a high position. <laughs> yeah. It will just be... Different for different groups. Well, yeah, different groups are just going to have their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. That, that is standards. And if you are doing a system where there is like a bunch of different people that think in literally different ways, yeah, you would have to consent to that idea. You cannot be equal in everything. Yeah. It's the whole concept of specialization. Yeah. Now, on the point of simulation, now, if if I just had watched this video, no, pro- not much uh, prior context, let's say, like, I didn't know about our system, stuff like that, new person, right? Yeah. I simulate things, and yeah. I do simulate things in the future. Yeah. Now, what that is actually is me using TI and getting the predictions from those rules, and then simulating a, like, physical world where that actually occurs and those rules play out. Yeah. Yeah. A very different thing. It's, it's not a pattern. It's just like a space in which these rules play out. Yeah, because the terms like simulation have... Lots like, of meanings. Yeah, at least 16. <laughs> <laughs> Exclude and block off all the other ones that are not optimal from happening. Uh, this is where we get the whole kind of chessboard analogy with NI users, especially the INTJs. Okay. But with with chess, it's like... You actually ex- want to keep it's the like, other yeah, ones. Yeah, it's like ever-expanding options. Yeah. So that's that's wrong. You want to keep all of the options there just in case, like, they make a slightly different move. 
Yeah, because of the X factor of a human being, and it's what that's what you should be doing actually. With, yeah, if you're if you are an INTJ, that is what you just should be doing. Yeah, it's saying how do I get to checkmate and make sure that these other things that could happen, the chaos right from the other player, is being blocked off so that I can in fact get to where I want to go without any of this stuff getting in the way. It's very much looking ahead, running the simulations so that it can get through in the most optimal way possible. Okay, so there are some- The issue with that chess analogy is that they might not make the move you think they're gonna make. Yeah, they-, they Because they're another person. They're gonna be trying not to as well. So. Yeah, yeah, because they don't wanna follow your plan. No, what- you, They're trying to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is play out all the possibilities that you can think of yeah. and then make plans for each one. Well, yeah, that is a much better yeah. system. And then have an overarching strategy of like the general, the general gist of what you want done, which generally should be a feeling if you're an INTJ. Yeah. Yeah. If you're like an INTP, have a bunch of set rules that like counters essentially. Yeah. As many counters as you can possibly calculate. Yeah. And sure, you're not going to use basically all of them, but you'll, the ones that you do use will probably work. Yeah. Um, in the same way, yeah, you shouldn't be cutting off patterns. In the same way, you shouldn't be cutting off random rules. Yeah, yeah it's just it's it's just like sloppy thinking. Yeah, something you want to do in life. There's something you pick your something. You probably already have it. It can be a little something. It can be a big something. How do you know? <laughs> Main con. Okay, whatever. I don't. Is is this just like a like? Pretending other people have your functions thing. Basically, because like, it's like, you have a thing you want to do. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie to me about me, Lindsay. <laughs> but, okay, other INTJs probably would. And if you have NR, you're probably watching this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll continue. Not not that all people of NI have FI. Of course they fucking <laughs> don't, because there's a... Oh, God, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Fuck that past me. You know what? In the, tell that past me he's a fucking wanker <laughs> in the comments section. There's something you want to do in life. Now, let's add some NI into that equation. And let's think about some use cases. And what you're going to do after this video is take this concept and apply it onto your own thing you want to do and run it for yourself, run the simulations for yourself. Let's say you wanna start bringing in some passive income and you wanna start an online store in which you sell widgets. So what is the NI simulation that is going to run on, I want to build an online store that sells widgets? Well, first what NI is going to do is ask, well, what are the major categories associated with building an online store? And in no particular order, right? You have uh, the product itself. You have stock of the product or the inventory. You have the user interface in which the person um, goes onto a website, right? To be able to interact and see this product. You have payment processing and then you have shipping, right? So there's are some just general overall major categories that need to be looked at when you say- They are categories, aren't they? Yeah. They're not patterns, no. they're categories. Yeah, so she's describing her top two functions. Yeah, which, in conjunction with each other. Look, which you would kind of expect. Yeah, but it's not... Especially to, when it's ill-defined. It's not how to improve NI. No. <laughs> I guess maybe some good, maybe some actual advice for people that have got a high NI. Mm. Um, plan out multiple things at the same time. Practice doing that. Yeah. Um, just, like, run the pattern out and see where it goes. That actually... Would be good advice because that, that would be something to practice and that would tend towards being able to predict more things in the future. Yeah. And you're going to fuck it up heaps. Like, you're going to have a bunch of ones that are wrong. Oh, yeah. That is how uh, functions work. You're yeah. wrong more than you're right. Oh, yeah. So like, I am very wrong more than I'm right. <laughs> yeah. But um, it seems like so far our, our, our thing is uh, we take what she says and we go, all right, let's get some actual advice. <laughs> 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 so people don't harm themselves. Or in this case, so people kind of have something to do besides make a widget store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I... Like, I haven't learned what NI is, and we're however halfway through the video. <laughs> yeah, and how do we improve it? It's like, what, how are you improving it? Well, if I have TE, you know, it's <laughs> 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 So if I'm like an INFJ, I'm stuffed. Mm. 
I want to build an online store. And I saying, okay, here are some categories that are breaking down into and going into this online store subject. <laughs> so let's just take a quick note at when, you know, I or another NI user hear someone say, I want to build an online store. We can't help but run these categorical like simulations on like what's involved in that, like what brings this together. And then we start getting nervous because we're like, does this person even realize like what's actually involved in this? Like, do they actually understand that all these parts are going to be needed and that, you know, this stuff all needs to come together or else like the whole thing isn't going to work. But I digress. So what you're going to want to do next is look at each of these categories and then start to simulate out the best path for each one. So let's just take the category of how, <laughs> by what criteria, <laughs> how do you simulate the best one for each one with no criteria? Yeah, she hasn't said what that is. No. Mm. I. How do I know what the criteria is if I haven't done it before? Like, she's describing how she would set up a business. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it, that's I fine. I believe she'll do this. Yeah, that's fine. That that seems like it would even work. But it's not how NI works. And she's using TE as well <laughs> as NI. Yeah. It's, and that, I, that's why it's bad advice, not that you can't do that. No, but, like it's, you it's not that can't, you can't do what she has done. That you probably can only do it in that way if you are that type. And, and then, that subtype. And then maybe even the same subtype. I don't know what it would be like with having a fluid NI. Well. It'd be more chaotic. Yeah. So, so then you would have a bunch of nonsense patterns. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably have to try to tie them around something sensory. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it would be different for a different um, subtype, which is why I wasn't just going to give advice for another subtype. Yeah. Like, that, that's why I'm cautious with that kind of behavior. Yeah, with, with this... Because okay. I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> so, a little bit of information. Contrary to what you might think of me when I'm doing this channel, I'm not <laughs> wanting to hurt anyone. <laughs> a little bit of information applied to a complex system poorly can have major consequences. Yeah. So you have to be incredibly careful. Hmm. Especially when giving advice on how to function. Yeah. The product itself. So what's involved in creating the product itself? Is it something that you can create easily? How much time would it take if you would have to create it? Do you have that ability to put that time allotment into making these products? Or is it something that should be outsourced? Let's say that you find that it's best to actually outsource the product. Okay, well now we're gonna tackle the category of inventory, right? So now as it relates to inventory, these people you'll be outsourcing with, how many of this product can they get in at one time? Are you gonna have a warehouse to keep this product? Or is it something that you can have shipped to the location of the person purchasing? Each simulation that is run is narrowing down to a solution because overall, what's the actual goal? Well, the goal is to build an online store that sells widgets. So everything it's that we're doing- make money. No, no, no. You just want to have the <laughs> shop running. <laughs> running at zero profit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just like whatever it takes to keep it going, that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's just a habit, you know? It's just kind of fun. <laughs> I just assume she misspoke then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she would agree with that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> is narrowing down a path to do that thing. NI is trying to find the best route with as few potholes and chaos as possible. All right, that's it for this video. I hope- Least amount of problems. Not necessarily chaos. Well, you don't I, have to do that either. I don't agree that it's a- uh, That it's it is a, for this. Yeah, I, I, cause you can just, I've, I've seen people with NI and including myself, they just want to cause chaos <laughs> for some, like, probably FI reason. Only potholes. <laughs> yeah. A pattern of only potholes. So I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. And maybe there's some tendency of wanting to cause chaos if you have solid patterns in a high position because you can figure out, like, deeper truths about how things work by observing them. Yeah. So I just don't agree with that. She doesn't really cause that much chaos, and she's the same uh, subtype. Yeah, that's true. That's in that is interesting. Yeah. Anyway. Hope this uh, kind of simulation running exercise is something that you can kind of throw into your life, something that you want to do. Remember, it can be a really small something, or it can be... Well, I bloody can't. <laughs> I can't do that at all. Because I would need all of the pieces already established. I'd need to know information about all the pieces that I need to do to create this outcome. 
There is no simulation that's going to happen, well, not a good quality one anyway, without, like, precise and defined pieces. And by pieces, I mean, like, like things like, uh, like uh, what uh, what's going to be the cost of the thing? What's the cost of production? Um, what is the object? How do I get the object? How do I make the object? Yeah, a bunch of categories. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. bunch of categories yeah. that I would need to make and know about in relatively high detail to make a good business. It's actually really interesting that she inadvertently referred to, to T as categories, which is the same word that I came up with, because we, we like like because we must see it in like a kind of a similar manner. Yeah. Even like okay, I think I call TI categories rules. Yeah. Be- because that is kind of how they are. It's at least how I interpret them. Yeah. That's mainly an internal reference point for myself. Yeah. I'm not sure if other TI users would even come to the same conclusion. Though. They could probably empathize with what you mean, though. I'd be like, I I follow like a certain uh, I- process. I do know someone who has. Yeah. That th- they even call them like rules. Yeah. So. Yeah, because uh. I don't use the concept of rules internally at all. That doesn't make sense. That's fair. Like, <laughs> a, a rule for me is just like what the government tries to get you to do. <laughs> I I don't even think of... The, I think of those as like... Like laws as a category. Yeah. yeah. So they're not like rules in the way I would think about them. Yeah. And I understand that she is quoting um, Dave's system. Yeah. So a lot of the criticism is like... I mean, I don't know, because, like... Well, he got it right that she's an INTJ. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But he thinks... Anyway, uh, I will, we will cover him at some stage. We're coming for you, Dave. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> well, uh, let's uh, see what the rest of this is. Be a bigger something. And just the process of taking this concept and applying it to your own scenario, well, that uses NI as well. So I hope this is beneficial to you. Uh, there will be more videos like this... Sorry, what? No, I actually do have to pause there. No, it doesn't. If I try and take that concept and apply it to my scenarios, it doesn't use NI because I don't bloody have it. <laughs> it would just be me kind of engaging in an exercise of frustration <laughs> because I can't do the goddamn things that she's asking. Yeah. Anyway. Coming out related to the other functions and uh, again, just one facet of NI, but I think one that will translate easily to you. So uh, I will see you in my next video. Okay, so right. <laughs> how how I've defined NI, which is a better definition, is <laughs> it's be- right out the gate. <laughs> it's not. It's already better. It's a. Uh, it is well, the only thing it does is create patterns. And then what is a pattern? It is just a cause and effect structure, and you typically assign it to things internally, and you feed it with other functions. That's why I was saying that she was using TE and NI. So what's an example of feeding it with another function? Um, so it plays out whatever you give it. Yeah, and it plays that out mean, a though? cause and effect structure. Yeah. And, uh, but that's going to differ depending on what the thing is that you're feeding it. So if you feed it with FI, for example, you're going to get um, that feeling and then it's, it's going to play out what that's going to do over time. Okay, because... I think the audience will get confused by what you mean by feeding it. Oh, uh... Do you just mean, like, whatever the pattern is going to be based off of? Yes, yeah. yeah. Right, okay, because if you have any, you actually can't do that. Yeah, and that's that's why there's any and NI. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you have NI, it's like, let's say if you use, like, a, a TE category as whatever the pattern is going to be based off of. Um, could you give an example for the audience just so they have a couple of reference points and they're not going like, well, you guys didn't fucking explain it either. <laughs> okay. Just just, just want to add that in. So uh, it's, it's with TE, it's like assuming that there is a functionalistic purpose behind things. Okay, sure. So for example, coffee cup is for uh, causing, is for like holding a liquid that is for being stimulating. Right. Yeah. So it's on the table, and therefore I can extrapolate that you will do a bunch of things with it. Right. Yeah. Probably fill it up with coffee and drink it. Well, you're like you're gonna take it to the sink. You're gonna drink it. You're you mean you might put it on the ground. You probably won't though. I'm not gonna it's, drink it's just the like, coffee cup, <laughs> Gabriel. I'm not gonna drink the cup. <laughs> the liquid inside of it. <laughs> so it's just like as so, um, the the patterns don't work unless you feed it with something. Yeah. Yeah. And 
as we saw there, not necessarily all the patterns coming out of it are going to even happen. I'm not going to put it on the ground. Well, yeah, like a... For example. Like most patterns you play just don't happen. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I thought that would just be good to add in for the um, audience to get like a reference point of what it actually is, or at least a better definition than nothing. <laughs> yeah, but she but she's gave like a thought exercise that only some people could even do properly. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess like and her thing can... was how to do it better, <laughs> not what is an ni. And if you can do it, then like you know you can. You, you're probably that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess if you have it in your, um, what advice would you give to someone who has NI in their bottom two positions? Oh, um, well, I, it would just update least. So, like, would this be a good idea? Like, you'd use it sparingly. You probably wouldn't want to burn out your function on a stupid thought exercise. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you can burn them out. Yeah, so that's what I'd, that's, I'd, I'd suggest would just don't do this. Yeah, because um, it's not gonna teach you much, and it's just gonna kind of get you tired. So, focus on something more important. Yeah, maybe like focus on a way of if this if you want to do the thing, a way of doing that using your dominant functions. Yeah, you know, like your specialty. Like, there's generally ways to compensate. Yeah. yeah. Well. That's been a critique on Lindsay's current philosophy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, uh, we kind of interesting to see what happens with this one. Yeah, I am. I'm curious. Yeah. Right. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. <laughs>